Hey there, welcome back guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to get your SD card viewable, whatever items you have on there on your SD card so that when you stick it into your Ender 3 S1 Pro or perhaps any other printer that might have a similar issue, you'll be able to see the files that you want to print. And right now you're not seeing anything. I just put them on there. I swear to God I did. And when I stick it into the printer, nothing shows up. Anyway, we've got you covered. So without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, we have our SD card here on the computer. As you can see, I'll just zoom in a little bit. That's the no name. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna zoom back out so that we can get our steady camera back. Uh, and then we're gonna open it up. You see it's empty in there. So we're just gonna take uh, these files right here, just one file, all armor, put it in. Okay, we're just gonna close the folder, right? And go back to our computer. We're just gonna pull it out right here and then walk over to the printer. Put it in, remember it goes in upside down. Okay. And then we're gonna go back a little bit right here. And as you can see, 104, it's not loading. Like, wait, where am I felt? You just saw me put them on there, right? And maybe checked it. Maybe put it in again. Go back home. Nothing. So now we have to go back to the computer. Pull out the SD card. Okay. And then, of course, on the computer, it goes in the other way. And you just wait a couple of seconds or two for it to load. This is just a normal glitch that happens with this printer. Because um, if you're on your Macintosh, anyone knows whenever you pull your SD card or anything out, micro, whatever, everything just works. Um, and I don't think you get an error. Let's see, we'll put it on. Nope, it just disappears, right? And reappears again. Uh, see, there's the, well, that is that one. The other one will appear in a second. So anyway, let's go back. Oh, there it is right there. See, and if I click on here, the one that I just pulled out, all my files are there. Uh, but if I go here, let's see, it's empty. See that? So what you got to do is you take your files that you wanted to do and you just drag them in. Voila. See, now they're there. All right. And then now, since, um, I'm have the camera in one hand, um, I'm not going to be able to uh, do a right click eject, you know, kind of like make me feel like total recall. I want to have three hands, but I can't. You can't do the right click, so you just select it, right? Make sure it's highlighted, and then go to file, and then just scroll down, and then just do eject. See that? And then, then it'll disappear, and then we'll pull it out. There's our SD card. Okay, and then we'll go back to the printer, and then we put it in upside down right see see it all you saw it a second see right there see all armor parts kind of neat huh and let's see if it loads yep and there it is and that pretty much sums it up in how you get your um your g code files uh visible on your ender 3 s1 pro or hopefully uh, any other printer Kind of neat, huh? It's a little hack, it's a little trick. You know, why it glitches that way, I don't know. Uh, because I've been using the Macintosh probably since I was 12 and I've always like put it in and take it out. Back in the day, you would get that error with the floppy disk, but um, you know, whenever I take this thing out, I don't get any error and I put it back in and it's able to pick up where it left off. But when I switch to that thing, uh, apparently it doesn't work that way. Uh, just brings in this sort of nightmarish experience where you're like, where's my file? Um, anyway, I hope that you were able to work around that and um, the solution helped you. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below or ideas for other videos. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you all next time.